I've thermoformed this PLA gauntlet for Phoenix Hand using near boiling water. And you'll notice that the effect on the PLA has been to bleach out some of the blue uh, coloration so that you end, out, end up with a, a partly white uh, haze on the surface. I've been using a heat gun. And this is not your ordinary uh, paint stripper's heat gun. This is a, uh, a far more a fine controlled unit uh, with a, a detailed control on the temperature and the fan speed. And you also can get some very fine uh, diameter nozzles, but I'm just using it without a, an extra nozzle at the moment. Yes. I've been using the heat gun on this side of the gauntlet that had a very similar discoloration. And you'll notice that the original blue colour has been returned. You can't see any of that white bleaching that you can on this side. So this has uh, livened up the, uh, the colour back to its original. I'm just going to show how that works. Just let it um, warm up. You'll see that the temperature is rising um, on the digital uh, readout here. I've got um, the unit running hot now. And here you'll see that, um, get my hand out of the way, you'll see the white bleaching. And if I just play the uh, heat on part of this, just for a little while, I don't want to heat it up too much. I don't really want to uh, start the whole thermoforming process again. But just enough, there we go, that's just enough, just starting to get a bit uh, uh, soft. But here we've got the colour back without uh, distorting the uh, the gauntlet. So once again, just play it over just for a few seconds here and the colour returns. So any concerns about loss of coloration can apparently, with a bit of care, be recovered using a heat gun. There we go. That is full coloration without any other um, uh, operation. So no extra chemicals, nothing else, just a little application of heat gun and we're back to the way it was.